What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing a video on power leveling your characters. I'm gonna give you all of the juicy details, at least my strategy and how I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> It's gonna be really, really fun. So I do wanna give a big shout out to my boy Iswardo here for helping me. Now, when it comes to power leveling, in the past we have done this a few different ways, but it's typically the same for the most part depending on what mechanics come to each and brand new season. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down my strategy on what you're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a brief outline and then I'm gonna just rush you through and just show you what I've done. So. Let's start off with defeating the capstones. You need to go ahead and go through both of your capstones. Now, before you prep to do your capstones, you need to have somebody hit you with a essence, which is very important. Again, you can only have one of these at, at any time. You can stack two, but you don't get the benefits. So you're gonna have your carry person take you all the way through and they're gonna blast. Now, on top of getting an essence, you can create this from your other character or have your teammate give you one. You are also going to want to grab a uh, a potion, which will give you an additional 5% XP, which I'm telling my buddy Storm I need one. Um, or what I can do is, is I can just literally just TP out, go in. I'm going to sacrifice a level. I think I have them in my stash. You guys are seeing me mess up uh, right on cue for the video, but we are going to end up rushing through. I'm going to grab a pot super, super quick <clears throat> because the most basic pot that you can get you can start using at level 10, okay? Which is very, very quick when you get going. By the time you get through both capstones, you should be around 20. Should be very, very easy. So then you're just gonna keep the, you know, your stuff open, and then you're just gonna get ready to pop your pot at 10. Allow your teammate to go through everything. Don't worry about any of the legendaries drop that you see here. Any legendary items are just gonna go back to your stash, so I would not worry about that whatsoever. Um, now, you are losing a little bit of XP if you can't be next to your teammate. There we go. Now we get the additional bonus XP here. All right. And then once we hit 10, we are good to go. All right. Now, after going through your very first capstone, what you're immediately going to do is we're going to pop our pot at 10, which is great. So we got that ready to rock. And then after we finish the first capstone, we're going to go into capstone number two. So I'll fast forward to then, guys. I'll see you there. Okay. Once the Cathedral of Light is done, we are just going to TP out and we're going to immediately go change to World Tier 3. <clears throat> this is by far the fastest way, guys. You're going to skip. We got to get to World Tier 4 as fast as possible. Because remember, <clears throat> excuse me, remember that the monster cap has been changed. It's no longer 10 above. It is 30 levels above. So we want to get to world tier three as fast as possible. And then we got to get to world tier four. So after changing your world tier to world tier three, your teammates should be going all the way. They should be blitzing to the fallen temple. And then we're going to go through the temple and just blast that should be pretty easy to do. Now in, in the between the meantime, where your teammate, who your carry person is, is going through, just come over to your stash and grab all your items that you got that were dropped by any of the monsters in there, especially the capstone boss. And then just get ready to TP. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get ready to TP. And this is where you can fill out like your, your skills and what you want to do and those things. So we're going to get inside the capstone here and then uh, we're going to get ready to blast over to the next spot. So uh, guys, I will see you at the end changing to world tier four. All right, guys, capstone to world tier four is all done. So now we're instantly gonna teleport back to Kmart. And now we gotta go change the world tier to world tier four. I'm very, very slow right now. Go ahead and unlock. We, we have unlocked world tier four, instant change. Now from here on out, when we're in world tier four, the best thing that you could do is we need to maximize the amount of XP that we can get every single time we kill a monster so we need to fight and do nightmare dungeons this is the key i know a lot of you may ask should we do um you know the infernal horde because that's a lot of elites it's a lot of monsters it's all this that and the other but the fact is you can't sit at the beginning of an infernal horde and just collect xp so we can do that here and then keep in mind that remember Nightmare Dungeon tiers, the monsters are whatever the tier is, plus 54. So, 
we don't even have to do this 59 because we're fighting level 100 monsters because it's way more than 30 levels but you can see the xp because we're 30 levels fighting monsters 30 levels above us so this is going to be even faster i'm about to burp uh, sorry guys so you're going to see how much faster it actually is and then all of your gear you're just going to equip through look at the xp just blasting it's 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 almost like we're in diablo 3 but not like it's better but it's not diablo 3 better but this is so much faster than how it used to be you used to have to go very slow 10 levels was such a cap on the xp especially for leveling alternate characters just in general you know and now we're absolutely blasting and getting through this so now you're going to see how much xp we gain remember to always keep your potions popped make sure to keep the um incense going you can even swap pots if you really want for the more xp and then while your person's going through you know again go through and do your uh your levels here go through and do that um another thing i do want to talk about is you know you're not going to be able to level up any glyphs okay you want to equip all of your gear as you get it a lot of this stuff i'm not ooh, was that heart seeker plus the heart seeker pants wow um so you're just going to get rid of all this extra stuff now keep in mind you can't level up glyphs until you hit 50 but as you can see we should hit 50 throughout the very first dungeon or close to it and then in the second part you kind of want to follow after you can start leveling up glyphs it is advantageous to level those up as you get them now what you would want your carry person to do is to basically wipe out every single monster along the way so that way you can follow and pick up items if you want pick up gold you know you could pick up um gear and then more importantly get those glyphs so that way you can start leveling them because 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 you can start popping off and doing higher level tiers it's very very good to be able to do that so that, like the monsters just keep getting killed and you are good to go so now after it's done we can check the map and all we're going to do is it looks like he's in an event right now probably so we just let him finish that out and then we're going to try to level up our glyphs after so you really want to have a really really good carry person someone who can carry really well now if you are doing this in a full party the best and most efficient way is unless you have an insane build is to have two carriers and then two leechers that way you can have two people split a nightmare dungeon really really quickly and then you can have uh the other two just leeching if you have just one it can be a little bit slower depending on the the class that's going typically like Eduardo is playing a druid which is insanely fast so um that that allows you just to get through the dungeon much quicker so at the end of this guys um i'm gonna show you like what we do there as far as oh there's an event see he's fighting another event he's clearing the absolute dungeon so this is great guys but yeah I wanted to bring the, you this guide. You see how quickly we got to 50 as just a power level. You could do this strategy all the way to level 100 with any character that you want. I'll have another guide on how to increase your, um, what is it, your your blessing, your mother's blessing event for this season. I have a couple different strategies to use for that, so look for that upcoming video. Make sure to like this one, guys. Let's get this over 100 likes. It'd be or, or over 50 likes. If we can get to 100, that'd be fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.